Hello, today we are learning how to multiply numbers with two or three digits. So right now the first problem we have is 348 times 12. That's our problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to always start with the ones place right over here. Starting with the ones place. And we're going to multiply 2 times 8. That's where we begin. So I'm going to write my answer in green because this 2 is in green. So 2 times 8 is 16. I write my 6 here, and I carry the 1 up top. 2 times 4 is 8, and then I add the number I carried, the 1. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 696. Now I move over to the 1. This is the tricky spot. This is the place where most students... If they make a mistake, where they'll make it. If you look, the one is in the tens column. So my answer really needs to begin in the tens column when I'm starting to multiply here. So in order to make that happen, I have to put something very special over here in the ones column. I have to put a Mr. Happy placeholder. I have to put a zero here. You can make it a smiley face, a sad face, an angry face. You have to remember to put a zero to make sure that your first answer for multiplication goes in the tens column. So, 1 times 8 is 8. And I'm trying to line these up as neatly as I can. I'm going to cross out the one that I carried before, just so I don't get confused. I don't use that again. 1 times 4 is 4. And 1 times 3 is 3. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two numbers the two products that I have here, and add them together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry my 1. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. Carry my 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4. Put my comma in, and my answer is 4,176. Another way to think about doing this is this is just like doing... 10 times 348, and then 2 times 348, and then we add up the numbers together. It's the same thing. So let's see if we can try another one. Here we are. We have 267 times 95. If you'd like to take a shot at this one, push pause, and let's see if you get the right answer. If not, stay with me. Here we go. We start here, 5 times 7, 1 times 1s, they're both in the 1s column. 5 times 7 is 35, carry my 3. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 is 33, carry my 3. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. Now I move over, and I can, what I like to do a lot of times is cross this out so I don't get confused. Now I'm in the tens place. So what do I have to put down here? That's right, Mr. Happy Placeholder. 9 times 7 is 63. Put my, oops, I started making the wrong number over there. Got to erase that. Let's try that again. 9 times 7 is 63. Put the 3 here. Cross out my old number. Bring my new number on top, 6. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 6 is 60. Carry my 6. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. Now I need to add these together. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 0 is 3, 5, I'm sorry, excuse me, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So my answer here is 25,365. Last one to try for 2 times 3. When I say that, I mean 2 digits times 3 digits. Pause it, give it a shot, see how you do. Okay, here we go. 6 times 2 is... 12, carry my 1, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1 is 37, 
6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. Now I'm going to cross out this 6 because I'm done with it. Now moving over to the tens column. Did you forget to put your Mr. Happy placeholder? 3 times 2, 6. Don't need that anymore carried. 3 times 6 is 18. Cross that out. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Have to add them. 2 times 0 is 2. 7 times 6 is, oops, excuse me, 7 plus 6 is 13. I was almost moving too fast there. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Carry my 1. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus another 1 is 6. And here comes my 1 straight down. My answer is 16,632. If you got it, give yourself a little pat on the back. If you had trouble with this, maybe you want to go back and look at another one and try it again. Don't be afraid to push rewind if you need to. Here come the big boys, the tough problems. Three digits times three digits. So this works basically the same way, where I start with the ones and I multiply the ones column by all of these numbers. Then I stop and I go to the tens column and I multiply the two by all of these numbers. Then I stop and I multiply the whatever numbers in the hundreds place by all of these numbers and then I add them all up together. So, we're going to start in the 1s. 3 times 7 is 21. My 2 on top. Two, excuse me, 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 is just 2. 3 times 8 is 24. Now I move over to the 10s column. I cross this out and... I have to have my answer start in the tens column, so I'm going to put a Mr. Happy placeholder. 2 times 7, 14. Of course, my 2, make this a 1, because I carried my 1 over here. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 2 times 8 is 16. Here's where it gets interesting. Cross out the two. I did that one already. Now I'm in the hundreds place. How do I make sure my answer starts in the hundreds place? You guessed it. I have to put two Mr. Happy placeholders. I'm going to make one happy and another one a little bit angry. He's mad. Okay. One times seven is seven. Cross out this old number. Don't need it anymore. One times zero is zero. 1 times 8 is 8. Now I have to add all of these numbers together to see what the, my final product is. Remember, product is the answer to a multiplication problem. 1 plus a lot of faces is just a 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 0 is still 9, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So 807 times 123 is 99,261. If you notice, the biggest difference between what we did before and what we did here is the extra placeholder. Here are two problems for you to try by yourself. Pause it. Good luck. I hope you can do it. 423 times 567 and 123 times 321. Ready, set, pause. Okay, how'd you do? Did you get them right? Did you get them wrong? Did you have some trouble? 
I'm going to go and mark this one with a smiley face and this one with a smiley face because these are the two correct answers. 239,841, 39,483. I'll see you tomorrow in class. Hope we can do great things.